called a decorated place. So we have this gigantic new staircase. All right, here we go. We're gonna hang out the staircase and make some ribbon. Hi, I'm Polly. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'd like to finish decorating the Christmas tree and I wanted to get some uh, chili. I have some ground turkey thawing and I thought I'd make a little quick little crock pot chili and um, Chanchi's not feeling so good today. He went to the doctor yesterday. He's got a little tummy issue but he's fine. Just giving him a little probiotics so he'll be He'll be okay. Um, <clears throat> then I'd like to go by Hobby Lobby and get some uh, larger copper tone or champagne tone uh, ornaments for the bottom of the tree. I really don't have that big of ornaments, so I thought maybe I'd look there. And I just need to neaten the house up a little bit. We have some company coming tomorrow. So it would be nice to be able to walk through the house. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're here today. Oh, I found some really cool. Um, I could, I haven't been able to find my um, spoon rest since we have unpacked. Of course, we haven't unpacked everything yet. The cabinets are still on order for putting in the closets and whatnot. So I found this little, it's a stackable set of four using this one, that it's a spoon rest. And I thought, well, this would be perfect for not only to use by the stove, but then when we do have, you know, guests over and I do buffet style or something, it'd be good to have a little bit of uh, spoons by each dish. So I thought that was pretty handy. I'll link that if you have any interest in taking a closer look at it. Using Butcher Box ground turkey, and this is a one pound package, so I'm just going to brown that with a little bit of onion. I've never had an electric can opener before, and I've never had one with a side opener. One of my viewers bought this can opener for me. So special thank you to Marty and Susan for this can opener. I love it. Thank you. I am still trying to get used to using an electric stove. I don't know. I think it might take a little while. Our oven is not working so we had an inspector and <clears throat> it clicks on but it doesn't get to temperature and something is wrong with it so Brucey ordered me a new oven and it's a Bosch so excited to have a new oven it opens to the left so that'll be different I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. They came and uh, did a pre-inspection yesterday for installation and, I, and we have an appointment scheduled for next week. So hoping that that all goes through and that it arrives in good order and it gets installed. Before I work on the tree, I might as well run over to Hobby Lobby to take a look at the ornaments. And also, I need to pick up a couple things from the storage unit. So I'm glad I have dinner on. I'm going to run to the storage unit first. And then I'll pick up some of the ornaments at Hobby Lobby and plan to come back and finish the tree today. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to have it done. Oh my word, it was such a fruitful trip. Went and got everything I needed from the storage unit. A few, found a few extra things for decorating. Then I ran over to Hobby Lobby and I found some tissue paper. And I, my goal there was to 
pick up some larger ornaments, you know, some big balls, <laughs> and I could not find them. I mean, there was two baby aisles of ornaments, just very small selection. Everything is sold out there, pretty much sold out. So I did find uh, these champagne type of uh, glittery shimmery and matte balls. And then this one has a little bit more gold and some blush and a, you know, a little glittery pink. So I thought, well, I'll make that work. That's my color I wanted to do was um, more of a copper, but that's okay. It's, you know, it is what it is. This is a weird year anyway. I mean, I'm happy to even be decorating because, you know, we're just moving in. I walked in the house and the chili, ooh, it smells so good. It is so windy out. I wonder what the wind speed is. Wind speed, oh, 33 miles an hour. My eyes were just like watering. 33 miles an hour, I guess that is a little bit of a gust. So anyway, I'm home now. I'm happy to be home for the rest of the day. I'm just gonna get started on this Christmas tree and see how far I can get. I can envision what I want for the Christmas tree, but it's just gonna take a little bit of time. I'm using four inch ribbon and we were getting hungry, so I decided to put dinner together. My husband absolutely loves onions and a big dollop of sour cream and some cheese on top of his uh, chili, make it all melty and delicious. using four or five different colors of ribbon. This one is a mesh type of glittery ribbon. And I'm also using some floral wire to make the one, two, and three loop bows. This is some beautiful ribbon. It's velvety on one side and satiny on the other. Don't be afraid to cut your ribbon. <laughs> you can always use it next year or use it in another project or uh, for decorating something else, but don't be afraid to cut it. This is some one inch darker brown ribbon. It's a linen. All of the ribbon is wired. One thing I forgot to get when I went to pick up these ornaments at Hobby Lobby was some wire, uh, hangers for the ornaments. So I went ahead and just filled my laundry basket with the ornaments and used some pipe cleaners that I had left over. These are some beautiful gold uh, inserts that I'm going to use and I just bend them, stick them in the branches and they will not go anywhere if they're stuck in like that with a nice bend in the elbow. I'm just kind of filling in the empty spaces with these gold picks and just kind of seeing where they need it. Now this carried on to day three. I ran out of steam that evening, so day three, I'm adding a few more picks. I cannot commit to a flocked tree, and this is my second best option, is to actually add some floral picks. And I just love how it turned out. Boom. Turning the lights on, didn't work. Uh-oh, what happened? Okay, try it again. There we go. It's gorgeous and I love it. One thing about working with all this beautiful glitter is you have a little bit of a mess to clean up, but once it's all cleaned up, now you have all season to enjoy it. This is what I'm going to do is try to vacuum up some of this glitter. If you have a YouTube channel, I sure would love to stop by and see what it is that you're filming. I would love for you to write your YouTube channel down in the comments. I'd really love to stop by your channel and say hello.
my goodness, it was so much fun decorating this Christmas tree, my brand new Balsam Hill. So I wonder what I will do next year. It's fun to look ahead. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. I love you all, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.